everyone. I am Tanima Sthana and today I will be explaining you Serial Peripheral Interface Protocol that is the SPI protocol. So whenever we wish to dump our code from the computer to our target microcontroller we can use the SPI protocol. So we can see what the concept behind is behind it is the master slave concept. Uh, the master that is a USB programmer it is it usually consists of four parts the first part is reserved for the RAM the second is reserved for the ROM the third is reserved for port peripherals and the last part is reserved for the code that we will dump from the computer to this programmer that is the mask that is working in master mode and then this code will be dumped by SPI protocol to our target microcontroller that will be working in slave mode. So um, all we need to do is connect the meso pin of master to the slave, the MOSI pins, the SCK that <coughs> is the serial clock pin, the SS pin and the reset pin. The basic working behind is it that uh, the master uh, whenever it starts working sends clock pulses from the uh, from this USB programmer to the microcontroller with the passage of every pulse uh, every bit is transferred from the mercy to from man's master to the slave and every bit is transferred from slave to the master with the passage of every clock from thus this SCK line so now this is a USB programmer Uh, this is a we can you can see in the diagram this is a USB programmer that is made for the AVR microcontrollers. Uh, the uh, if we look at its pins uh, over here we have the pins. Uh, the, it's like this. The first pin is VCC. The third pin is MOSI. The fifth is MISO. Seventh is SCK. Second is ground. Uh, then the tenth is SS. These pins are of are important use and rest are of not uh, are not of a use now the second concept uh, in uh, this usb programmer is the connection of two jacks uh, over here we can see uh, there are two uh, jacks which we need to connect uh, by, by jumpers so uh, th this is used because uh, the speed uh, because we are using spi protocol its status register has a bit spi 2x and to make it work in a faster mode we need to set spi 2x equal to 1 for this uh, whenever we will be burning or dumping our code uh, from our computer to the target microcontroller we have to connect it via jumpers now the second pins these two pins at the side these are connected via jumpers whenever the target microcontroller has an oscillator uh, with a frequency less than 1 to 5 megahertz so uh, then we'll be using jumpers to connect this so but uh, in this avr development board we have uh, we have the crystal oscillator of around i hope 8 to 6 megahertz so we need not use these jumpers so this is the avr development board now uh, if we look at its data sheet the, it has it has a large number of parts for different applications a large number of things large number of electronic components can be connected to it the over here we can see an sd card module uh, these are these pins that these pins we will be using for uh, this spi protocol now if we look at its pins then pin number one that is at the bottom is 3.3 volts second one that is at the top is the ground third is mosi fourth is miso fifth is sck sixth is ss so we have to connect these pins use our software for burning the code so i am uh, making the connections using jumpers so first of all in the usb programmer in the USB programmer, I am connecting 5 volt to this line. These are internally connect connected. So, this these whole lines are 5 volts. Then I am connecting ground 
to the ground pin then this is the mercy pin i am connecting it to this the third one at the bottom third one at the bottom is the mercy the fourth one at the top in the development board is mizu i am connecting it over here to the mizu pin then we have this is sck i am connecting it to sck then we have ss the sixth pin at the top to there is a small dash present so i connect it connect it to that pin then the most important pin the reset pin reset pin to this <coughs> over here we have a reset pin and then we need to make connections for this 5 volt to this no uh, the 5 volt is this one 5 volt to this 5 volt and the last connection the ground the second pin at the top the ground the connections are done now i'll connect it if the connections are correct the leds that indicate power will glow like this so it means the connections are correct now the software that i'll be using is probe isp if the connections are made this probe isp over here will show a green color and over here it asp will show a blue color that means that the connections are correct and the usb device is recognizable first of all i can erase my chip erase the work is done then uh, i from the file option i will go to load flash select the code open and then from here we need to select chip erase program flash verify flash program erase lock chip and enable crystal oscillator and then auto So yes we can see over here i am pressing the first switch and the led glows the second switch the second led goes the third switch the third led glows and the fourth switch the fourth led glows this was the code for pressing the switch button and as a result the respective leds glows code is for the blink led code as soon as the work is done all the leds are glowing so this is all about spi that is serial peripheral interface and that is used uh, the biggest advantage is that we need not remove a target uh, target microcontroller from the chip and it can be used to program the development board and it is very easy and time time saving